It's a collection that has taken almost three decades to build. Rare metals, maps, artifacts, volumes of all kinds, some dating as far back as 1696. When uh, anyone asks me, uh, what do you have? I always say, some books. When they slide this door and they enter, they say, this is not what you told us. Uh, tunic buttons and uh, some figurines. Uh, Raj Bandal estimates he has over 2,000 items in his personal mini-museum. They're from Calcutta, they're from Afghanistan. So they are like uh, living objects. Uh, there is a story behind them. Uh, every single item has a story. Driven by a desire to learn about his history, Bandal started scouring antique stores, flea markets, even yard sales, while keeping an eye on online auctions around the world as part of his ongoing treasure hunt. It makes me feel like a kid too. I used to collect marbles, fly kites. Uh, so it's not the same thing. Uh, but uh, it's a similar in a way. Uh, these medals, uh, they belong to Kamal Ram. It's taken up a lot of his free time. At home and with my friends, I'm driving them nuts. So they are asking, can you do something else? He's made some priceless finds over the years. This is uh, signed by the last king of uh, Sikh kingdom, Dilip Singh. Now a large part of the collection is being transferred online so others can learn. Lanjara Nomad doesn't take donations and it's free for anyone to use. So if they want to read about it, they can. And that's what the reader is like, oh, I didn't know. It's great that we, we're learning about it. So there are comments and there are questions coming in. We have a phone line. One day, Bandal plans to find a public space and open the doors to anyone who wants to browse his collection. A legacy to leave behind so this history will always live on. I see myself as just as a caretaker. Uh, I'm not an intellectual or very learned person, uh, but um, I'm taking care of these things to preserve, learn, and share. Jay Durant, Global News. If you know someone who has a great story to tell or something unique to BC that people need to know about, email your ideas to me at thisisbc at globalnews.ca.